Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a very simple piston assembly in SolidWorks and animate it. So to get started I've opened up a blank part file and if I go to sketch and I draw a sketch on the front plane and I make this sketch a block rectangle 100mm high and 40mm wide. Then from there I'm going to draw a circle in the center line of this rectangle to make that a construction line. I'm going to make this a 40, sorry, 20 mil, 20 diameter circle, 80 mil from the base. Not 50, 80 mil from the base. I'm going to extrude this rectangle 100 mil. So go back up to features, extrude, change the direction and make that 100. So now you're getting the start of your block, which will be the base for your piston. So to put the finishing touches on it, I'm going to go and draw click on the front face of the block. I'm going to draw a rectangle that's coincident with the top face. And it's going to be offset 20 mil from every other face. So I'll put 20, 20, and 20. So from there, I'm going to go to, go to features. And I'm going to cut extrude through all on that. And just to put the finishing touches on this block for uh, the base of the assembly, I'm going to go to fill it. And I'm going to just click four edges and make that 20 not 10. So now that's going to be our base block for our assembly. So I'm going to go up to save and I'm going to call it um, block. So now I've got my block uh, for my assembly. Now I'm going to go and uh, model my crank. So if I go to new part and now I'm going to go to sketch on the front plane. I'm going to draw a circle that is 20 mil in diameter. And extrude it 30 mil. Now I'm going to click on the face I've just extruded to and click sketch again. I'm going to draw a from, from the origin point, a 25 radius circle here. Oh, I thought it'd come up, sorry, 50 diameter. And then I'm going to draw a good normal to it. I'm going to draw another circle in line with it. So I'm going to create a construction line from the center point of that circle. Go construction. And I'm going to make this circle 20 mil. Uh, the construction line will be 40 mil. So now I've got these two circles. I want to create this into a crank. So what I'm going to do is just draw a line on both sides. Press escape and draw another line at an angle. Make sure there's no relations on this line. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to click uh, the line, keep my finger on control, click the circle, go to add relations and add a tangency. And I'll do the same for the bigger circle as well. So I've got my finger on control. I've clicked the circle and the line and click tangent. So I'll do that again for the other side as well. I'll click tangent and tangent. So what I've done there is I've, I've um, not clicked the correct entity, so it's come up with an error. So I'll, I'll delete that. So what I need to do is make sure I click the correct entity. So keep my finger on control, click the line and the circle. So if you click too many entities, it doesn't know what you want to do. So now you end up with this little shape here. Now I'm going to go to trim entities and I'm going to trim there and trim there. Trim there, trim there, and I'm going to trim the insides of the circles as well. 
So now you've got your cam shape. So if I tick that, come out of the sketch, and I'm going to extrude this 10 mil. I'm going to go and sketch on this face, go normal to it. So now in the centre of this circle, so if I go convert entities, I get my centre point. I'm going to make that for construction. I'm going to draw another circle, 15 mil in diameter this one. And I'm going to extrude that 20 mil. So you get an idea, I'll just move it around. So now I'm going to copy this cam again on this face. So if I go to sketch and then I'm going to go convert entities and click the cam face, tick that. So now I've got a repeat of the cam there and I'm going to extrude that um, the same as this cam, which was 10 mil. And merge that. And I'm going to copy um, this detail here. So I'm going to click the cam again. And from the center of the circle, which I know is the origin, I'm going to draw a 20 mil circle in diameter circle and extrude it 30 mil. So if I've done that correctly, that should be 100 mil in total which it is in the normal distance. And if I go to evaluate, measure, it's 100 mil. So now I've drawn up the block and the crank. So from there, I need to draw the con rod, which is a very nice sort of save this crank and draw up the con rod, which is next. So if I go to new, Part and open up a blank parts file. And I'm going to sketch on the front plane, and I can use the slot tool and draw a slot. So this needs to be 40 mil wide. Not four, sorry. Typo. 40 mil wide. And a lot longer, obviously. And from center of circle to center of circle, we'll make it 80 mil. Now I'm going to put in two 15 diameter holes. I'm going to extrude this uh, 10 mil. So good features, extrude. So it's already done a default of 10 mil. And that says Conrod. So save that one. And click save. So from there, the last component we need to do is the actual piston head. So if we go to new again and create a new part, I'm going to sketch on the front plane again, as always. I'm going to draw an L shape. So, in fact, because I'm going to revolve this, I'm going to create a construction line in the middle. From the origin, I'm going to draw an L shape here. And then So from there, let's make that uh, 10 mil thick, no sorry, 5 mil thick, and then make the outer face 10 mil thick. And then the height of it needs to be 68 mil. And the width 40. Mm -hmm. So from there, I just need to make it still not fully defined because it doesn't know 
um, how big the construction line is. So what I'll do is just make that equal to this 68. So I've clicked control, click the out, outer line and the construction line, click equal. And now it's okay in height. And I just need to make, put a horizontal um, relation on this line to fully define the sketch. So now if I go to features, revolve. So now I'm revolving a hollow piston. So I'll tick that. And if I go to the front plane and go to sketch. And what I want to do is draw a 15 diameter hole. Oops. So I'll do, what I'll do is from the origin, draw another construction line, click construction. And I'm going to make this 15 mil. And the center is 18 mil high from the base of the piston. I'm just going to click out that sketch, features, extrude cut, and I'm going to go through all both, so it cuts through both sides of the piston. And there we have our piston head. So I'm going to save that as piston. And now I'm going to jump to an assembly file um, and and we'll put this together with mates where we can animate it. So now I've modelled all the components for my piston assembly. I've opened up a blank assembly file. Um, I'm going to start. Um, I've got all my parts open, so they're just in the open document section. So I'm going to go to block. I'm going to insert the block into the assembly. So that, because that's the first thing I've inserted into the assembly, it's coming in fixed. You can see it's fixed by that little F there. So from there, I'm going to insert the crank. So if we go back to insert components and insert the crank. So to make this to the block, I'm going to make the hole and the shaft of the crank. And I'm also going to make the two faces and make them coincident. So now I've got the block, which is fixed, and the crank, which has got the two mates on which means I can rotate this round and it doesn't move apart from where I want it to, which is in that axis. So from there, I'm going to insert, go back to, to insert components. I'm going to insert the comrod. I'm going to make the, shaft, the top shaft and the bottom hole of the comrod. And now I'm going to go to I'm going to click these that the face of the comrade and the face of the cam, and I'm going to offset that five mil. So now that's in the middle, and same again. I can move this manually, and it's moving how I want it to move. I've left it free where I want it to move for the piston assembly. So to insert the piston head, for I need a few more. Um, reference uh, geometries. So what I'm going to do is go up to reference geometry, click plane, and click either side of the block to put a plane in the middle of the block. I'm going to do the same again in the other opposite direction. So go back up to reference geometry, plane, click that and that. So now if I click my finger on control and click both planes, you can see I've got two planes in two different directions in the middle of the block. So I'm going to keep them highlighted. I'm going to go back up to reference geometry and I'm going to click axes. So now I've got an axis bang in the middle of my assembly. I'll tick that. So from there, I'm going to go back up to insert components, go to piston, and I'm going to click the center circle of the piston and then and keep my finger on control and go to the axis I just created. So I've clicked that and click mate. So now uh, this piston head is now on the axis of the assembly. I'm going to click the circle of the piston head, what the cut through we did, and click the comrade circle. So from there, I'm just going to click here 
I'm going to make it, so I've clicked the base of the piston head, and I'm going to click this surface here. I'm just going to make it parallel and tick it. So now if I spin the cam rod, and this is just me manually doing it, um, you have a piston assembly that moves how you want it to move. So from there, spin it around a little bit, I want to animate this. So what I'm going to do is go to motion study here at the bottom and I'm going to click motor. I'm going to put a motor on this on this crank. So if I click the shaft, so now you see a little red arrow comes up with the direction so you can change the direction and also the speed. So I'm going to change it to 50 RPM. I'm going to tick that motor. So now if I just zoom out a little bit and do to give you an idea, I'm going to pull this black line to make it a bit longer. Make it 10 second, a 10 second long clip. A 10 second long animation, sorry. And I'll click play. And there you have it. You have a fully animated, very simple piston assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.